Money, money, money. Must be phony. In a rich man's world. Rich man's world. Money, 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 money. money, 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 money. Must be funny. Must be funny. In a rich man's world. world. Okay, so I wanted to do a bit of a comment response for my uh, Wizard's First Rule review. And for some reason, the name of that book, like, never sticks in my head. I, I always call it, like, Wizard's Glass or something like that. I think it's because I've seen trailers for the movie Glass constantly. That's a look into my head. But I'm recording this video super late, and I was worried I wasn't going to be able to do a good job because I've been dealing with my cat having what I'm going to call butt explosions. <laughs> and my night has just not been great. But I went and dove into the comments section, and in terms of, like, well-reasoned arguments... I haven't gotten, like, anyone who's able to disprove or make decent comebacks towards almost any of the points I make in the video. In fact, almost everyone is just saying, like, yes, I read it once when I was a kid and I really liked it, and then I reread it as an adult after reading more fantasy and I realize it's garbage. So that seems to be the biggest theme. Terry Goodkind has an appeal for less experienced fantasy readers who can't really acknowledge that he's a gigantic thief. So uh, there's not much of a debate to be had. The only real point that I can say people have come at and disproven was me talking about the fact that Richard never has to deal with his trauma and just shrugs it off. Apparently it does come up again later in the series. Hooray! None of the deeper, real detrimental flaws to the foundation of how Terry Goodkind writes books comes up again. Can you hear the train going by in the background? There's a train going by in the background. It's actually really interesting, and I'm kind of fascinated by this. This is the only negative review I've ever done, where I've never had someone respond to individual point by points. There's no real debate. It seems Terry Goodkind fans are just kind of going... <laughs> I've gotten probably the most f yous I've ever received for a review, uh, but no substantive uh, responses in terms of content or quality. I didn't comb through every single comment, but I kind of just went through the higher voted ones because those typically hold any good responses. And I scrolled down to some of the lower, like bottom tier, and those are just a lot of a lot of fus. And then so many people saying they they hate Terry Goodkind and they're happy I reviewed it this way. Um, after doing a more research, it seems most fantasy authors have a disliking for Terry Goodkind because how he talks down about the genre. Um, Elliot Brooks and I worked on a video where on the World Hoppers channel, it's going to be posted where we talk about the Terry, uh, Terry Goodkind's mentality and specifically look at one interview where he seems to just be incredibly hyped on inflating his own ego. And I'm going to take advantage of that to, one, shout out World Hoppers. Go check it out if you want to check it out. It'll be posted Wednesday. And two, go ahead and just make the point that if someone you're following, someone you really enjoy, is constantly talking about how good they are, how great their works are, that's not inherently a bad thing. I think confidence and ego can legitimately serve a purpose and you know I, I want someone who knows they're good to be an apollo astronaut like you know what i mean i don't want someone who has a fake ego but with terry goodkind he seems to just be the only one who has like a substantive voice in the fantasy community who's hyping his own books i've yet to see a very big well-respected reviewer praise his books on the level he praises them most other fantasy authors either won't comment on terry or they give kind of just like eh, eh, responses when he's brought up and that's because terry has said his works transcend fantasy he doesn't want to be restricted by the childish genre which dude there's 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 dragons in your books. Uh, but if you want to see me dive in deeper on this topic, go ahead and check out that video. That'll be up Wednesday. It's interesting to see someone who is so interested in themselves in such a masturbatory way. But as for specifically comment responses, no one, no one was really able to rebuke anything I said because it was accurate. And that's not like a ego thing because I was actually really ready and willing for people to be like, ah, oh, you should move your bar. You know, he was just paying homage. I was kind of worried that people would convince me that maybe I was way too harsh, but no, the general consensus is he's a big old thief. And I was pretty much right on the money. So as someone who's usually very open to having their mind changed, looks like I don't need to. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lack of content.
Sorry. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And what's up next on my To Be Read was going to be the Power Mage trilogy, but I got sent an arc by actually that author. So I'm going to be reviewing a book of his that's to be coming forth in the genre. And look forward to that. And the Power Mage trilogy will also be coming down the road. I just kind of want to, you know, help an author out. Get an arc review out for him. That's cool. Um, and like and subscribe. All that fun stuff. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. Thank you.